So Doom Eternal is still coming to the Nintendo Switch. However, it's going to be a digital only release. Let's talk about this. Hey everybody, Bloodboom Bobby here. So, yes, you heard right, Doom Eternal is still coming to the Nintendo Switch. There's actually some rumblings that the Switch version was cancelled because um, pre-orders were reportedly being cancelled for the game. But Bethesda said that it's not that the game itself is being cancelled, it's being moved to a digital-only release. This is what they have to say. Quote, while Doom Eternal is 100% on track for an imminent digital-only release on Nintendo Switch, the absence of a physical release at retail resulted in canceled pre-orders. The added affected customers will receive full refunds and should contact the preferred retailer for more information. Bethesda said they'll have more information coming about this later this month, which isn't really encouraging seeing as there's only a few days left in November. However, VG247 speculates that the game could still be released by the end of the year on Nintendo Switch. As for why the game is only getting a digital-only release, it wasn't really made clear. Um, the sources I looked at didn't really like speculate as to why the Doom Eternal will only be a digital release on Switch now. I was wondering maybe if it had something to do with the file size, but that may not be the case because... I compared Doom 2016's file size on, on Steam to Doom Eternal on Steam, and what I found was that Doom 2016's Steam file was 55 gigabytes, while Doom Eternal's file size from Steam is 50 gigabytes. Now, obviously, this doesn't reflect the Switch version because the Switch version of Doom 2016 was uh, considerably smaller. It was 22 gigabytes on Nintendo Switch, so. I think it's reasonable to expect that Doom Eternal will probably be at around that 22 gigabyte file size, or at least right around that sort of range. I think I remember hearing that when Doom 2016 first came out on a cartridge, you have to download the multiplayer mode separately, so maybe that has something to do with that. I also know that when Bethesda released um, Wolfenstein Youngblood for Switch, they did release a version in stores, but it was basically a box copy that just had the download code. So it was still a mainly a digital release, even if you bought a supposedly box copy in stores. We personally, so it's not really clear why Doom Eternal is being moved to a digital only release. I could only speculate with a few puzzle pieces here and there. I'm personally still picking up the game. I was planning to get the digital version anyway, which I know people are going to bring up things like how, you know, digital version is kind of risky because, you know, what happens if you lose your memory card or if you don't have enough space, you might have to buy a memory card on top up of your Doom Eternal purchase, but I'm personally fine. I have a, a 128 gigabyte micro SD card for the Switch that that still has plenty of space for Doom Eternal. It's basically been the Switch game I'm personally looking forward to the most, but I'm wondering if this may be a turnoff for those who much prefer a physical release of Doom Eternal. Ideally, I, I wish Bethesda would go the route where they would offer both a digital release for those who want the convenience, but also a physical copy for that safety, or maybe for those who aren't able to invest into a micro SD card or a big micro SD card to get the game. So I personally wish Bethesda would have offered both options, but it does make me wonder a little bit, especially with how Doom Eternal for Switch is coming out later than when it did on the PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and I think Google Stadia. No, if it may turn off people from the Switch version, especially considering that Doom 2016 on the Switch sold around 430,000 units, according to VG Charts, which is considerably less than, say, the Xbox One version of Doom 2016, which sold around 1.45 million units. And I understand that I think the reason the Switch version of Doom Eternal was coming much later is because the Switch is... Even though it, though it it should be capable of running Doom Eternal, it's considerably a less powerful system than the PS4 and Xbox One. And so the developers, you know, Bethesda and Panic Button probably needed the extra time in order to make a really good Switch version. And one that doesn't run at an insanely bad frame rate like if they released Doom Eternal 
that ran at like 10 frames a second, that would be absolutely unacceptable. If it at least runs as good as, say, Doom 2016 did on Switch, which I play a uh, quite frequently, I'll have some of my own gameplay footage shown here in the video. It does run pretty well on the Switch. It may not look as good. I've also played the PS4 version. It may not look as good as, say, the PS4 version of Doom 2016, but it still runs really competently on the handheld, and I like being able to play it on the Switch since it's more convenient so that I could play it, whether it be on the TV of my living room or in my bedroom or anywhere I go. So that's one of the perks of... I. Of, that's, so that's one of the reasons why I personally like playing Doom 2016 on the Switch. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you personally thinking of getting Doom Eternal for the Switch? Does the news that it's going to be a digital only release, is that a turn off to you? Let me know all those thoughts down below. And until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby and thank you all for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this Blood Moon Bobby video. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos and ring the bell to be notified about my latest uploads. Don't forget to follow me on social media for my latest opinions and video updates. I hope to see you next time.